All right, so uh, this is Terencio, also uh, otherwise known as the Jack of All Trades. Uh, that is a newfound uh, coinage, so don't be trying to jack my swag. Anyway, uh, this video is brought to you by uh, Secret Laboratory. It can be found at secretlaboratory.org. Go check it out, lots of fun stuff there. Anyways, okay, this video is uh, a new video on network security. Uh, this is a tutorial and how to tutorial on a uh, man in the middle attack and how to protect yourself from it. So basically, let's get started because YouTube don't play with that 10 minutes. All right, first, what is man in the middle of attack? You have someone like you trying to go to the internet. Uh, which is over here you want to go to Facebook let's say you send facebook.com to the internet the internet sends you back facebook.com's login page on a secure encrypted uh, web server or, or web page and you commence to enter your credentials and you send it back and they say okay you're good blah 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 everybody talks back and forth what we plan to do is intercept that communication and get in the middle uh, as this MITM man in the middle connection and down here we want to intercept all that traffic we're gonna be using ARP spoofing uh, which is going to trick the uh, victim into thinking that it's talking directly to the internet the server or the router and we're gonna be tricking the router into thinking that it's talking directly to the victim all the while it's really talking to us the man in the middle and we're also gonna be using SSL stripping this intercepts all traffic and strips the SSL security so when you say Hey, I want Facebook.com. The server says, okay, here's Facebook.com's secure login page. Well, we will strip the security out of that login page and send you just a regular old HTTP page. You'll put your credentials in it. And again, we will intercept that and get all of your login information. And the server never knows the difference and everything looks secure. The client doesn't display any warnings because the user is able to continue on to the internet and surf and do all the fun things they like to do on Facebook, like post those dumb Instagram pictures. So, Bottom line is we get to see all of that. Now let's get started. Open up a terminal, this little black box up here. We wanna forward our IP tables. We wanna forward uh, information, web traffic from port 80. We wanna forward it from port 80 to port 10,000. So we will run this command right here um, and you can copy it. You wanna get all of this stuff here because you will use it a lot and save it on a little table. And, and 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 just keep it where you can every command you learn everything you learn like when it gives you commands for using the terminal save them because you'll use them uh, and then once you get it uh, paste it in your terminal uh, hit enter I'm not gonna because I I've already done that so what I'm going to do is go to the next step now if you want to check just to make sure everything is good and your IP tables are running we can uh, we can do this command here uh, IP tables uh, list tables net and run it and you'll see here that the rules are as such we are forwarding or redirecting traffic from port 80 to port 10,000 now we're all good to go we can clear that we know we're good now we want to run SSL strip so we want to run SSL uh, strip uh, listen on port 10,000 uh, go ahead and hit enter alright so that's running you can minimize that uh, you can also find that through the drill down if you want you just go as Kali Linux network analysis SSL analysis SSL strip uh, fuck I wasn't gonna do it but um, because of time but I'll do it you can do that and it'll bring you up the same thing a terminal uh, now that's the hard part it's over now we can go ahead and open up uh, EdderCap, and that's what we're going to be used to sniff, sniffing, network sniffers, because we're on a network. Get the graphical, that way you can see it. Yeah, we're going to bring that up here so we can see it. Hit the sniffing tab. We want to do unified sniffing. If you're plugged directly into your router, then you want to use Ethernet 0 or Ethernet 1, whatever you are. If you are doing this exercise wirelessly, you'll use a WLAN or wireless local area uh, network. Uh, 1 or 0, whatever yours is. Mine is 0, so we'll click OK. We're good to go. Now what we want to do is we need targets. We need something uh, to sniff. We need uh, sniffing. So we're going to scan. Go in the hole. Scan for hosts. Uh, now if you look down here, we see we have four hosts added. 
Uh, let's go ahead and open up that host list and see who we have in here. All right, we've got a couple people going on. So this we know is the router, 0 0.1.1. .1, that is the router. We're going to add him to target one. And then add our victims to target two. And we'll go with that one. Uh, 0 0.06. Uh, that will be the machine I will be using. You can actually hold control and select all of these if you would like and add them to target two. You can select as many as you want on a network targets. Doesn't matter. Um, so we go to targets. We have. Uh, the router, the gateway, and we also have our victim. Uh, now we can go to the man in the middle attack. We want to use art poisoning. Sniff remote connections. We're all, we're going to be going both ways, sniffing both ways. So we're not going to check that box. Hit OK. Art poisoning is going to trick our victims, like I said before, and uh, trick the victim into thinking it's talking to the router. Trick the router into thinking it's talking to the victim. Uh, that's the disguise there. Then we're going to start sniffing. Now we can start sniffing for packets. All right. Now what I can do here is demonstrate <coughs> uh, what I mean. So I have another device. Uh, I'm sorry that you cannot see. Uh, I don't have VMware. So you won't be able to see it, but what I can do is make this bigger. Uh, and you can actually move this up because this is where you're going to be looking for your traffic. Um, and this is traffic. This is a pop server uh, from the device I'm using sending uh, regular traffic out. Um, and so what I'm going to do is log into Facebook. Facebook. dot com all right we're gonna go there and I'm gonna put in my login information I don't know what that is we wanna go to facebook dot com sorry all right Sorry, give me a minute here. Uh, I'm gonna cut that. I'm gonna paste it. All right. Now we're at Facebook at Tom. I'll use Jack at Hack dot Lab and hack me up as the login uh, password uh, so I'll go ahead and enter that trying to log into Facebook as you can see we got some traffic down here uh, Jack at hack lab that is the username that was used dot lab password was hack me up alright and that was done at facebook.com this will do this for all all logins for any website no matter where you go uh, okay uh, also, the victim doesn't know that this is happening to them. You can let this machine run for like all day if you want because it uses very little limited resources on your machine. Um, it's very, very useful. Now, to protect yourself, let's, let's, let's first let me show you how to stop it because I was never taught how to stop these attacks. We stop it, we'll go man in the middle, we'll stop the man in the middle attack. All right, hit OK, and you want to stop sniffing those are the things that you have done and then you want to open up your SSL strip that's listening on port pole control press C and stop now you can X out of that now to protect yourself um, when you go to google.com let's so let's go to Facebook actually this video is gonna be short so let's go to US Bank I want to explain a few things when you go to usbank.com you see their certificate and this little lock favicon all right this is their certificate in this colored text. It's hard to fake that even with hacking. Hacking. I can fake this lock favorite con, but I can't fake that. And I also this HTTPS. That S means it is secure. It is encrypted. You need all of these things. You need to see all of that. If you see something like this, then you are doing wrong. And that's not what you want to see. Alright, this tutorial is over. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. I love you all.